yeah, like this uh, bureaucracy kind of, I think I have another slide for that, like the kind of the bureaucracy that starts from the teachers themselves, and then the director, and then the directors of the school, like the school, like the school uh, with the Ministry of, uh, with Ministry of Education, which is, yeah, fair enough, like, of course, we need provision, of course, the Ministry of Education should see what is actually happening in the, in the class, and uh, kind of approve that it's, like, the correct information that we're trying to, uh, what we're trying to teach. Uh, but, yeah, here it's also the wrong perception of Wikipedia, this is the, the ongoing thing since forever, I mean, apart from the English one, I think all the other languages are struggling a bit to uh, convince, um, especially in education, teachers and students that Wikipedia is actually reliable, and actually what we're trying to do is to make it more reliable, to get a good view that find it not reliable, uh, but yeah. So other logistic stuff, like like uh, of computers, internet access, and maybe to go to schools that transportation is not very convenient, are also some challenges that we had along the way while trying to, uh, to work uh, in the week in education, uh, week in education in uh, general. Um, yeah, I think everything else is quite clear. Um, I think uh, lessons learned are more or less the, um, what I what I said already, kind of prompts and challenges uh, that we had along the way. Um, like a lesson learned, for example, when we started this uh, Wikipedia in, in the classroom, which was a long time ago, over five years ago. Of course, back then we didn't have staff, so it was a bit hard to do it in a volunteer capacity. But uh, we try to do it on our own. So lesson learned, for example, is collaborate with people that the government, not the government, but the Ministry of Education or the schools already find that reliable. If you can convince them, you already convince the school. So that's um, that's a good one. And secondly, a teacher training is like training teacher is the key of success, kind of for long term uh, contributions. We as Wikipedians cannot be everywhere. Like we cannot go in every class possible that they want to have a, a workshop, a weekend, a presentation, like whatever. Even even just open it accounts. So that's uh, yeah, that's some lesson learned that uh, we delivered and eventually find. Um, yeah. Also, I covered this uh, more or less. Um, so. For the first point, to know that Wikipedia classes can be dedicated to everyone who likes to learn how to do work. Like, uh, I think, um, and also I talked to you what you wanted to, to mean here, it's like the whole thing of work is very important. Also, um, so kind of first educate them how important is the volunteer work, in this case to write articles on Wikipedia and then actually uh, do the work. Uh, we found it a bit interesting uh, when we did the teachers survey um, and the student survey, like uh, an often question that we did not expect to be asked was like, why somebody else has to correct the article? The teacher is here, you are here, why do they have to correct my article? So every time they could tell that after they wrote something, there was somebody else writing on top, it was not necessarily correction, like somebody else added some more uh, information on the article, yeah, they kind of... Uh, uh, took ownership of, the, of an article and like were wondering um, or didn't like it that much that somebody else has to kind of correct them. And yes, teachers are the key to success on wiki education, so more training to them is always a good idea, especially for them to take the charge so they don't need them in the long term. Uh, I think that's for the students, yeah. So something else that we uh, did as a lesson learned was that every time some students had questions about how to do something, we tried to use other means, problems, like to, to yeah, use other students to answer, actually answer the questions. So we had a monitor like here, and if somebody was like, oh, actually I cannot save it, or how do I show the bold text, and something like that, and we asked in the class, and then somebody had to show it for other people, and they felt like that. So it was kind of a feeling of being accountable and like, kind of the leader of the class, or I know it, um, and I can teach other people about it, so that was 
quite useful. Of course, I know some skill is always there with all the projects, not only with the media and the classroom. Uh, creating their own networks and groups to work together, so the, the teamwork um, yeah, works quite well. Uh, what is interesting for the teachers, and I think useful, is like achieving higher grades in various subjects. Um, that was quite a big thing in the end of the day, also for us to see how well that works. Um, and yeah, we also try to mentor them, to mentor other classes that are not already like them as, as, as students, I mean, yeah. uh, to mentor other classes, <coughs> they, they to make the presentation or the workshop with our help or the uh, teacher's help. Also something else, like the research skills here, we saw that they were more focused and they liked it somehow better if we have books. So if they have to write articles, by something they physically have in their hands, which is quite challenging, especially in Albania, to find uh, reliable, no, to find reliable sources that are there, to get the reliable sources in schools and like all what comes with it. Um, yeah, well, some focus and yeah, I think that should be it. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, ooh, we still have time for. Uh, yeah, actually, maybe I go to challenges or something, and we can, if you can ask, and I will try to um, answer as best as I can. Otherwise, Yolta is always there somewhere online to uh, to answer uh, with her real experience that she had in classes. Um, but also, maybe we can talk with each other how this applied to your school, or what was your biggest challenge when you work with teachers and when you work with students on your own without the teachers. Yeah, I would like to ask uh, which age group you were most in. Ah, good question. Uh, but are yeah. the lessons in like geography, history, which one? Uh, yeah, very good question. Uh, so it's high school. We mostly work with high school kids. We also did uh, classes with uh, university, history, and uh, languages, literature, whatever is the subject called. Uh, but like the real work is done by high school kids. So how old are we in high school? <laughs> um, yeah, that range. Yeah, and uh, we work mostly with science uh, subjects because not it was not selected by us because those were the teachers that were more open to collaborate with us. So biology, for example, it's a very good uh, one that we have several classes with them. Yeah. <coughs> 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 Students, uh, yes, I'm Can you speak up, please? I cannot hear you. Um, my biggest challenge is that I'm working alone with students, uh, conducting trainings. Uh, they are like, contributing to Wikipedia. I'm trying to check in time their contributions, and I need very much time for that. I cannot do this properly, I, I guess. So, yeah, this is the biggest challenge. And also, at the end, I have to like evaluate this contribution of every student, and this is also very hard because I have other job, <laughs> you know, <laughs> not just uh, like the uh, introduction uh, of Wikipedia educational program. So uh, yeah, maybe maybe you have like a decision of <laughs> that. Yeah. yeah. So can I say it out loud a bit? That did anybody hear? So. I can just, uh, which I, I'm sure Yolta will 100% agree with you, and this is her job, you know, and she still is struggling to cover everything because she's one, like she cannot be everywhere physically. So she's struggling with being on her own to do everything, plus her daily job that pays her bills. So yeah, the human resources is also a big challenge. Actually in both countries, also quite Albania, like which I keep nodding, yeah. So yeah, human resources, yeah, of course. Uh, sorry, then, then, please. Um, I might offer a solution, a part of a solution, which is, uh, I mean, yes, we have uh, educational program and we have program manager, but we are also like um, promoting uh, exceptional students from faculties uh, to be Wikipedia ambassadors, meaning it gives them uh, like a warm feeling in their heart 
uh, that they're actually doing something positive, but they're also helping uh, to be like a communicator between their uh, institution, educational institution, and Wikimedia. Uh, so what we are doing, like we are uh, delegating some work to, in a way, check those marks. For example, the articles. Uh, we're, what we're using is uh, I forgot the name. Uh, wait just a second. So it's uh, oh my god. Oh, well, I will remember the name. Uh, and then there you can put like your, uh, your program, what you're doing, at which uh, for faculty, for example, and then all the articles and all the uh, editors, uh, all the people that are actually writing articles. So it's part of the curriculum. They write, write article and then the article is there. It can be easily checked if it's well maintained. Uh, and then that's what they are doing voluntarily, of course. But for example, it can give, we can give them like a certificate of completion, or in a way, you know, they, they've been helpful for us. Okay, so these are like experience. How, how experience they were also uh, previous students who were part of uh, like educational outreach, uh, and then we can continue this conversation if you want. But yeah, uh, it is something that helps. Uh, the faculty, for example, in order to be better, uh, to have like a this dispersion of, of uh, resources, you don't have only one person who will check all the students, all the articles. We, you have uh, people who can actually be helpful in many ways. Yeah, thank you, Miki, also for all the help. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, there was another question. Yes, yes. Uh, I was curious whether uh, you. Um, you are organizing something for teachers as well, and are the teachers contributors themselves, or no, or they are just teachers? Very good question. Yeah, should have been more. Yeah, very, very good question. Uh, so what we define as collaboration, uh, sorry, as contribution, what do we define as contribution? So the teacher helping the students without our help, is that a uh, contribution? Like, are they Wikipedia editors? Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. So some of them are, some of them are not at all. We have one of our uh, most helpful teachers, she was also uh, at Wikimania. Like she had so many students without our help after we trained her a course, uh, that the contribution that she brought because of the trainings are like uh, impressive. But on her own, she doesn't edit that much. I don't know if she has started yet. I don't think she has the time. We're still fine with that. Uh, as long as the kids <laughs> can contribute. But that's a very good, yeah, that's a very good uh, question, like uh, what we define as contribution and uh, yeah, when do they start uh, uh, editing? So if they show me, I have no time, I lost the train of thought. But uh, yeah, so yeah, some of them do contribute, some of them don't, but they contribute, uh, like they don't edit, but they do it in the other way. Yeah. That should be a lesson, that should be something cross. <laughs> We have 10 minutes, she said, yeah. but we don't have to use the lunch break, no, I will mean, yeah. not. Uh, you, you said that um, you are training the teachers, so uh, you run some special program that you got the teachers from all over the country, how does go to directly the one school and make a training for all the teachers from this school and then they are recruited, like one of them? Yeah, so we do it in different ways. In general, we go to schools and after we um, uh, find teachers that are interested, we train them in the schools. So it can be one, two, three. Uh, we also have a collaboration with this Corp and the main, like they have a program with education, so they have teachers all over the country. So what we do, we connect them, like, so we do a training for all of them. Um, yeah, in general, in the capital, in Tirana. Uh, but uh, most of our work, it's kind of personal with teachers that show interest already, and we know we have them because it's very hard to go everywhere in Albania and see and check or motivate them. Like we can do that online, but uh, yeah, it's one. But we can say it's one. Rita is one. So one yeah. devoted to the yeah. Of course. <laughs> yeah. To the ones that already show interest. Yes, yeah. One follow up question. Mm -hmm. she asked, um, what does the training of teachers include? How do you train them? What do you, 
teach them to do or not to do. Uh, because if they are not Wikipedia editors themselves, then what are you training them for? Uh, two things, how to edit, no, mentorship first, how to mentor the class when it comes to Wikipedia context, and secondly, how to edit articles of their own, that they can teach it to the kids. But actually, Wiki Education has a very, like Wiki, Wiki EPU has a very good program how to get started with uh, Training the teachers, the students, or whatever, like we have a lot of content online. So, yeah. Uh, we haven't done it, like I think the foundation did it, or the, the group itself, I don't know, but it, it's usable, right? Yes. Uh, can we, sorry, I can send you links. <laughs> Please? Yeah, since you were talking about uh, teacher trainings, I would uh, like to know uh, did you make any efforts so the teachers uh, train uh, their students? how to uh, use Wikipedia in uh, education as an educational uh, resource, for, for example, for uh, to facilitate uh, uh, some research or how to uh, manage to easily find the topic or how to use it uh, as a reference for, I mean, to use the references for the Wikipedia articles as references. Because uh, in uh, many cases, usually the teachers are those that the students expect to uh, share them the knowledge about uh, why Wikipedia is useful. Sorry, what was the question? Because the question was, uh, uh, do these trainings mm -hmm. for teachers yep. include uh, how to use Wikipedia as an educational resource? Yeah. Not only to contribute to it? No, we have to. That was what I meant with mentorship. Okay. Yeah, we have to. It's uh, Especially if the teachers have no idea about Wikipedia, convince them first it's reliable and all of that. And then uh, we have to start with that. And, uh, so, of course, we have... Did you show them some kind of uh, Wikipedia games? Play. We have the wiki keys, it's all translated also in Albania. Uh, we also did the quick test uh, at Wikipedia. Uh, we do tests, we do whatever works with them, like the puzzles, um, the, I have no control over that. Um, yeah, so, yes. Actually, only the wiki keys, I think it's the game, as far as I know, but I would know if that was it. Yeah. Yes. We also translate ah, okay, the, yeah. uh, Wiki Adventures, which is on Wikipedia, Wiki Adventures, yeah. and also yeah. translated the outreach dashboard trainings, which can be used for teachers as well and for students. But yes, I mean, that's our ideal situation we're working towards, having the teachers train the students because they have the figure for them as well as you said it. So that would be the ideal and the smooth run. We're trying to have teachers use Wikipedia, become comedians, and pass it on to the students. So that's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, One more question. Um, if I remember correctly, you also have Wiki clubs. Yep. Uh, how are they interconnecting? Are they connected or not? These Wiki clubs connected with, with what? Uh, Wiki clubs with Wikipedia uh, at class levels. Uh, in general, we do the clubs with these classes that are, and with these teachers that are active uh, in the class, in a simple workshop. Oh, that this is considered how, yes. to be wiki club. Yes. Oh, no, is. that's not the wiki club. We do the wiki club with them. So we do a dedicated oh. event when we collect all the schools that already we worked on and do wiki clubs. But are the classes of, of these teachers? But this is after uh, the main program. Yes, after, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a weekend dedicated. And, they are, in and the they are still coming, yes? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, of course, in the class we have 30 people from one class only, and then in the wiki club we have in general 30 people in total. But uh, yeah, yeah. It's good that they are coming. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's all what teacher motivation is. If teachers are motivated, you already have motivated kids. Uh, pupils. <laughs> So that's what I need to <laughs>